and we're on the dashboard now for the Pimble Hi-Fi website. So I'm going to wipe out um, wp-admin return and we see the site in its entirety and this top area is to go back into the dashboard um, display. Now I'm interested in putting new products for we'll go into speakers front because we're working with Whatmo. Um, the program has helped me out by placing um, all the different Whatmo uh, series of the speakers. So what we do here is it's the lifestyle lifestyle classic performance signature. So it's got one too many here. I'll get him to delete one of them. Um, so we'll click on to lifestyle and these are old images that are not relevant. So what I'm going to do is click onto this one here. That's how the end result will look like. And when you click onto that, it then brings a bigger image. That's not a very good image. Hence, it needs to be replaced. <clears throat> uh, so what we do then is we go to Edit Product. Yes, that's correct. Edit product here. So uh, this link for the download brochure, oh, it's set up in HTML, so we need to have it as visual. So the product that I'm working on here, which you will be referring to various um, price lists, and this relates to the Whatmo price list. So we'll be calling this the uh, AV8 Lifestyle lifestyle um, floor standing speakers and then we need to go into the name of the page in which case I would add Whatmo as that is the brand of these speakers and then copy in the rest then what I do is I make a copy of that okay that I make a copy of that and then I put it into the all-in-one SEO pack with a cap W and comma Pimble Hi-Fi Sydney because that's a keyword there, Hi-Fi Sydney um, and the description of the product. So remove this featured image because it is incorrect. We'll remove the download brochure as it won't be relevant. Uh, set update, so save the page at this point in time even though I don't have the right content in. Now what I'm going to do is um, go into the whatmo.com website and hopefully they will have a search feature. doesn't look like they do. Product images, um, signature series, they don't seem to have a mention of lifestyle. So what I'll do is I'll go to um, google.com and do a search for Whatmo uh, Lifestyle Aviate speakers and that will bring up Whatmo reviews, whatmo.com reviews Synergy AVL um, Gumtree I'll look on the whatmo.com reviews okay Okay, <clears throat> we found the um, AV8 speaker system here on the Whatmo site, so we'll click onto that. And it's got a bit of a review. And the, what, uh, the AV8 um, lifestyle, lifestyle system. So the image is not of a very good quality, unfortunately. Um, 
there's a lot of information here. So what I'll do is um, just capture this first paragraph. This is the least expensive home theatre surround loud, loudspeaker system that Australian designer and manufacturer what may have ever produced. Down to, um, I have heard a couple of these systems and was hardly impressed even considering their very, very low price. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, let's see, actually it says here, so what is relevant to all this? Well, the Watmail AV system, despite its budget system, is not targeted at this overcrowded market. No, I'll just um, I'll just capture that paragraph there for now. Yeah, that there doesn't seem to be an option on the left-hand side for lifestyle. So we'll take that and um, go back to the other tab, and I'll paste. The description there. Now I will copy the heading, place it into there with a dash and make it bold. It's just part of an SEO requirement. Um, I'll update that so at least I've got the information. Now uh, what I want to do is grab the, set up an image of this um, system now. So. I'll go back to Google and do a search on the images for uh, Watmo Lifestyle AV8 speakers. So there's a few, there's not many, Pioneer, Samsung. So, okay, I'll delete the lifestyle and see what it says now, what kind of a search it gives. That's better. What more AV8 speakers? No, that's about the same size as the other one, which doesn't quite work. That's a small image. That's a small image. Unfortunately, it looks like that's all we have to work with for the AV8 range. So unfortunately, we need to go back here and that image looks great. So what I'll do is I'll go and choose this one. No, that's very blurry. That's not quite good. Go to this one. It looks about the same. That's a little bit better. So I'll just right click that, save image as um, AV8 speakers, download it to my desktop. And I'll just open up Photoshop now. Okay, Photoshop is open, and I will give you um, like this master template to work on. So in this case, um, the previous one was Autophone. I'll just fill this with um, oops, make the color white. Fill it with the foreground colour, which is yeah, white. And um, then I'll open up the AV speakers I saved on the desktop, as is. And paste it into here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can blow it up very large. It gets fairly pixelated but that's what we have to work with for this one anyway um, so I'll just uh, flatten the image and file save as Watmo uh, Lifestyle AV8 
speakers. Save that on the desktop. Usually um, other products and websites have a far better selection of their product images but in this case um, it looks like Whatmo doesn't have much so we need to resort to Google uh, Google searching. So we'll go back into the um, edit product, upload insert, select file um, and the Whatmo speakers are there, open and we have the title. Now I'll copy that and I'll put it into the description as well. Always adding in Pimble Hi-Fi um, Sydney and I keep Hi-Fi as two words because it shows that the keyword is searched a lot more than when Hi-Fi is together. Use this featured image and then save all. And you find now that um, update So the image now is now in place there. Now to set up the uh, prices, we always put share because it offers the share um, social media icons and I usually pick up the first sentence and paste it into description. Now what we need to do is go make sure it's always set at variable product. Uh, you click on to attributes and then it mentions cabinet cabinet type so what we have here is um, cherry vinyl I'll just leave it at cherry vinyl for now um, but actually what I might do is change it add new let's say add new and just call it cherry okay Okay, oops, let's see, add new, cherry, okay, there we go. So cherry's in place and we click on to visible on the product page and used for variations. Then we click update to save the page and with the price list I've given you, we then click on variations any cabinet type we've got that select that cherry is the one that we want to choose and the price is one on the price list it mentions 1649 the client doesn't want the 49s or the 99s he wants it rounded off to a clean figure so the 1649 becomes 1650 so that's done and we update the page Great, so everything's in place now. And what we do is we uh, go back to new to check it. Um, products, speaker front, what the lifestyle. And there we have the image. So you'll see select options is active once 1650. Um, you choose the option cherry okay um, yes yeah, so as I was showing you the uh, cabinet types uh, cherry so that's done which is great and we'll go back to description and when you click on the image it mentions what what Mo lifestyle aviate speaker so everything's working fine that's how you test it and then we go back to products again speakers front go down to what Mo lifestyle as that's where you'll be adding the um, products in click on to that image there as it's uh, redundant now that brings up that page and edit product and then you continue the whole, whole process again but what I do sometimes is to make it easier for me I'll actually bring this up um, bring up speaker front go down to what my lifestyle 
click onto the previous image and then what I'll do is click on to edit. I'll actually um, copy and paste the heading into that one there and then change it to read um, Synergy 3F which is the next on the list. So it is uh, floor standing speakers I'll keep the Watmo and uh, paste the rest into there so that's saved. The brochure here is not valid. Um, speaker, oh this is where you um, also click onto the category so if this, if this is unselected it won't be visible anywhere. But we are working in um, speaker front section and it is the Watmo lifestyle so you always must click these buttons for the right category. Um, and the right um, product name and um, update just so you don't lose the information and then you go through the process again. Uh, you Google it, um, look for Synergy, there's bound to be something in the Watmo site. It, um, for the images you go to image, Google, search feature but hopefully we can find most of everything in the actual Watmo website as th that's the products it's being um, searched for. So for example here I'll go for um, Synergy 3F, go back to Google search, put in Synergy 3F, search it. There's a HTML page there on Synergy. Great, there's some information. And in this case, I would um, copy all of that into the description. That's the image specifications. Right, return to Synergy Details page. Um, oh, good. Well, not so good. This is actually probably a better image to use for the images. So I, I would go right click, save image as. Synergy Group 3 and save it onto my desktop and uh, work with that for the image. Pick this up, copy it, paste it into there, copy that, paste it there with a dash. Make sure the heading is always bolded as well when it's repeated in the co um, copy. That helps with the search engine optimization. Copy the um, First sentence, place it into there and copy that, place it into title along with pinball hi by Sydney. Then I'd pick that up and copy it into the keywords and that's the all-in-one SEO pack filled up and just continue to follow the process. This hasn't been finished, I will leave it up to you to complete it and um, continue on with um, adding all the products for the entire Watmo range and in the meantime I will get that single Watmo logo without any description removed. I'll ask the programmer to do that. So thanks for listening.